What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the next update of the Red Hawk bathroom. So, I promised you guys the tile would be done. Maybe I didn't promise, I don't know. Tile's done. Floor's done. Shower's done. Wall tile is done. Cabinets are in. Countertops are in. I'm gonna explain all why in a minute, but you ready? You ready? You ready? Here we go. Voila. So this is a basket weave pattern on the floor. So you got, we'll just pick out here. We got two, two, one vertical, two, two, one vertical. Goes like that everywhere, but it's the same. So we got two sideways here, and then it's offset for that row there. It's the exact same floor tile in the shower, just down to a two by two, you know, sheet size. We'll get to the threshold in a minute. Cabinets are installed because we wanted the tile to bump into the cabinets. I did explain that, I remember now. In a video, two videos ago, I don't remember. But uh, it doesn't matter, but I said it. <laughs> Not that that matters. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, it's a long day. Cabinets are in. Tile is bumping up into the cabinets and going around the backsplash or around the top. So this is a quartzite called Taj Mahal. And if you remember from the Red Hawk kitchen, right downstairs, we use the exact same stuff in the kitchen. So it kind of ties the two rooms together. But, so we got all floor to ceiling wall tile is done. And there you have it. So that's one of the medicine cabinets. We just wanted to verify that that fit in the hole before we actually put the, uh, the tile up there. But if you look at the pattern here, it kind of blends in on the camera. At least what I'm seeing is we got six inch, 18 inch, six inch, 18 inch. But if you take a step back, it looks like it's stacked and it looks like it's an offset pattern. So our big tiles are all stacked in a row and our little tiles are all stacked in a row, but they are in a brick pattern from each other. So it's a pretty cool definition of the tile. I really like how this turned out. You can kind of see that definition, hopefully there. It looks a whole lot better. But I really like how this wall tile turned out. It looks really, really, really nice. The threshold is the exact same material as the countertop. So it ties all that in together as well. And we wanted a solid piece here. We've got a nice clean miter here so everything can be pitched just the right way. So that's pretty much an update here of the uh, Red Hawk kitchen, or Red Hawk bathroom, sorry. With that, tops in, canvas in. We got a little bit of finished carpentry to do here. Put our door in, do our electrical everywhere, get all that stuff in, get the med cabinets in, get our door hardware on. Um, got new screens for that window right there. Just pick those up today. Um, painter's gonna come back and finish painting this trim. Pull that plastic off and paint the skylight. And if you look here, they've got this all primed up. We'll get that all painted up as well. So the painters are in here the next few days to wrap up all their stuff, but that's it for this update of the Red Hawk bathroom. As always, guys, I appreciate everybody that likes, that watches, likes, comments, everything. Let me know your thoughts, your feelings on everything that we're doing here. If you got any questions about what we're doing or how we're doing it, please let me know. And make sure you follow along on all of our other Instagram channels. I'll link them down below. Um, so with that, next one, honestly, the next update is gonna be pretty much a done bathroom. Electrical is gonna go in, we'll get the plumbing in here. Once we get this gigantic shower door in here, it's really gonna set this room apart. Once we get the lights in here and get this all cleaned up, you can see still see some of the grout. Grout haze, we'll get some of that, not haze, but just dust. We'll get this cleaned up in this bathroom. It's gonna sparkle, shine, whatever. It's gonna look good. 